yeah. Don't mind any background music. My neighbor is playing um, music. But anyways, I am going to shoot again, guys. And it's this South Portion is going to be a little different, so I'm not even sure if it's going to work out. But um, <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if um it does work out, and hopefully this video might be a little, you know, entertaining because I'm not sure if it will be. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's see. So I got my camera and I am going to actually use I'm gonna actually use this um cloth thing as part of my table shoot. So uh, a part of, as part of my um photo shoot. So yeah, let's let's see if this works out. So this is how it's gonna be guys. See I got the um tablecloth thingy over my head. And I got my camera right here. Yeah, my camera is right here and it's already set to self portrait mode, self timer mode. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a picture. Okay, so my sister is like right behind me. Mm. Say hi, sister. Hi, sister. What do you want them to do? Say subscribe to my channel. Let's do this. Let's do this. My sister's taking a picture. I don't know why, but I'm tired. But I'm just working. What? My sister is taking a picture, so I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm literally very frustrated because none of the pictures are coming up good. And, um, so I'm switching and trying to do it with my phone instead of my camera because it is it is a mess. It is a mess. You see my hair is already getting really, really frizzy because that's tell you how long it's taken me to get a picture. It mm, it is not doing well. So after spending about an hour with my camera trying to take out a picture, I decided to take all some pictures with my phone. So this was like the only picture that I ended up with. That I actually liked. So this app right here I'm using is called Snapseed and it's a really convenient way for me to edit my photos. Like if I take out a picture with my phone it's really fast and easy to just do some quick edits and just post it online. So that's what I'm going to do and that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to click on this button right here and first thing I'm going to do is turn the image. So we're gonna I want the highlight to move up because I don't want the picture to come out too dark. So I want it looking kind of light and bring down the shadows a little bit to get a little contrast and contrast. Yeah, that looks about right. And I don't really like how my head is posed. I think it's like a little too up. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and across just slightly. Boom. Yeah, kinda. No. Uh, let's bring it back up a little bit. Right. Yeah. That's about right. And I'm gonna go with curls. So I kinda like the faded look. This is like my go to. And maybe a little bit. So what you can do is click on this icon here and go on view edits. And you see the curves, you click on the curves and click on the middle button right here. And bring it down a little less. I'm gonna bring it down to 75 right so as you can see it's a little less and another curve I'm gonna make like a right one 
It does look cool, right? Yeah, this, this right here. Great. And last but not least, I think I'm gonna add some details, some structure, and sharpen. So this is my final photo, I guess. I think I'm good with that. I'm cool with this photo. But it has a lot of nice um, things that you can do with this. It has drama effect. That I don't want right now. And it has these effects also. Adjust the style strength, and you can adjust this. So yeah, that's it. That's my photo, guys. That's my final product, and I think I, I like it. So yeah, that's it for my video, guys. I hope it was helpful or at least entertaining. <laughs> so stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye.